Welcome to my channel. I'm Lee Jell, and I'm happy that you clicked on this video, and I hope you enjoy what I have for you today. It's the Rose Decadence collection. Well, some of it. Starting with this palette. Yes, that's what I have on my eyes. Whoo! Whoo! I like it. I think that it would have been nice to, like, I guess... You know what? I think it's a good companion with the rose too, with the um mothership, the um the other uh, mothership two palette, not mothership two. I'm sorry, the divine rose two palette. This is a nice addition. I feel like the texture is a little bit different. It's not as creamy as the divine divine rose two uh palette. It is a little different, but it's still mother. It still has really good quality and everything. So what I put on my eye is in the middle, I went in all over my lid with Peach Dusk. Then I use, that was all over my lid here. And then I use this shade, Fetish Flame. Oh, Fuchsia, wow. Fuchsia Flame. I put that here and I took it all the way up. And then for the rest of my lid, from my inner corner to meet the the fuchsia flame, I use that middle shade, which I've been dying to get my hand on, Scandalous. And that's all I did. Oh, for the inner corner, let's move this hair. For the inner corner and the lower lid, same thing. I used the um, fuchsia flame. This one, I use that here um, for my lid, for my lower lid. And then in the corner, I put a little bit of this gold shade, golden honey, golden honey. And I mixed it with this to highlight it some more on my inner corner. So that was it. It's pretty simple. It's a neutral look. It's a neutral pinky look. Um, And you can see, it says that that pink color is a duochrome. It's not like a high shift like I was expecting, but it's really, really pretty. And I like how it matches with Scandalous. Scandalous is probably my favorite shade. I like the whole, really, I do like the whole palette. I love all of these colors. I'm here for it. But y'all are here for these lip -ies. I know why you came. I know why you came. I can read your mind. I know why you came. I'm going to get people with the ask. The first shade I'm going to go with, with from the um, Pet McGrath collection. What are these called? The Divinal. The Lip Fetish Divinal Lip Shine. These are nice. I didn't get the chrome package for the Divine Rose 2 palette. so. But I got the chrome lippies. I like it. The first shade, I'm sorry, did I mention the first shade? The first shade is Nude Venus. Nude indeed. Where is she? Where are you? I was excited about this collection because even though I want like more, I like pigmented stuff, it said it's a hybrid between gloss and lipstick. And I was like, does that really exist? Are they real? So I have to find out for myself. That's the swatch. Okay. They are smooth. And they're very nice. I like that. I thought they would be glossier. That's what I thought. I thought it would be a little more gloss. I accidentally wiped this down. Wiped this off. I wanted more gloss there. But it is very pretty. See, it looks glossy in the light, right? Like, 
but that's okay. I also purchased some of the astral, the lippies from the astral collection. What was it called? The Lip Fetish Astral Lip Balm. So I have four of those and I have five of the Divinal shades. So we're going to um, swatch Next shade is Bodor Rose. It sounds French. That's what that looks like. You might have to warm them up some to get that gloss to pop. Yeah. Okay, so you have to layer them to get it to look glossy. I think, yeah. And it doesn't crease. So that's a big plus. They do feel really soft. So I guess that's the thing for this year because Fenty came out with their lip slime, their um, lip slime, <laughs> wow. Their slip and shine lipsticks, which are basically like this as well. Um, I'm a glossy person. So I thought these would be like really glossy. I know that some of you, this is like your, this is your thing. This is just enough gloss, just enough pigment, just enough texture and everything. But I like a glass, glass finish with my glosses. And I thought that because this said it was a hybrid between the lipstick and the gloss, it would be a little bit glossier. I would even put a gloss. I would put, if you watch my um, my last upload with um, Twilo, I featured Twilo by Pat McGrath. I would even put that on top of this to make it glossier. Um, but... I like it. It's comfortable and it's beautiful. I don't really even do pinks, but I would do this. I mean, I don't do like pinky pinks like this, you know, that glossy pinky sheer stuff. I don't really do those, but I would do this. And I do have two liners that I will be pairing with some of these lipsticks so that you can see what the liner also looks like. But again, this is Baudoir Rose by Pet McGrath. Next shade is Electric Lotus. Ooh, that one's like, it looks red. Yeah, it's red. I think I like this one even better than the other one. It's not red. It's like a pinky red, I guess. Yeah, I like this one. Like once you start rubbing it in, that shine does come through even more. I've never used her balmy, um, any of her lip balms because that's what gloss is for in my mind, right? Uh, what I need a balm for. But these are nice. I always wonder why people are like so gung-ho about her bombs, but they are very smooth and they are beautiful. Well, I think these are the first kind that she has with this much um, pigment, but it's very, very nice. Again, this is um, Electric Lotus by Pat McGrath. <laughs> it's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Y'all see, mother's going to keep me in roses this year. I had to have a top that matched the rose theme, okay? I mean, I'm. she just needs a whole garden. She's going to make a, a whole palette of gardens, garden colors. Like, I'm here for it. Rose on, sis, rose on. The next shade is Love Interest. This is red. Let's see how red she is. I guess it's not really red, red.
You do get that shine. I want it to be shinier. But I like it. I do. But just like with the Fenty, um, actually, I think these are more uh, pigmented than the Fenty ones, perhaps. And some of these were a little shinier, but yeah. This is Love Interest by Pat McGrath. Really quick, I wanted to compare Love Interest to uh, the other one, Electric Lotus. I actually like both of them. But that's what they look like. They're very similar once you put them on your lip. But still different. This is um, Love Lotus. What is it? Oh, God. These names kill me. Electric Lotus. <laughs> and then this one is Love Interest. That's the difference between both of them. So... I mean, for me, I, they kind of end up looking the same with a, a pinch of a difference. So if you were going to get them, you can get one or the other if you are um, checking to see which one will look better on you. If you're the skin tone, you can get one or the other because they, they kind of start to look the same um, once they're on your lips. Okay. okay the Next final shade. shade for the Divinal uh, Lip Balms is Temptress. I thought this would be more of a deeper purple-ish color. I do like this one though. Oh, this one's actually... It's supposed to be a deeper red is what it's described as. But I'm almost seeing brown. I like it. This is nice for the fall. If you want a hint of color, this is nice. Yeah. Especially if you this complexion, you don't want anything too bright. The other uh, pinky type um, divinals may have been too bright for you. But this is nice. Yeah. They do feel very smooth. They feel like a really nice hydrating I lipstick. I did purchase some of their lip liners. And the one that I purchased was, I purchased two. One of them is an old one, Deep Void. I purchased this one. And then I also purchased the, one of the new ones in Living Legend. So let me actually swatch that for you now. So you see what that looks like. Oh, that's nice. It's like a rosy brown. That's pretty. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. Hmm. It's really nice. So I'm actually gonna pair this one with one of the new the one of the new divinals. Let's go in with the nude Venus. Because this is the one that you might be wanting to pair with the liner. Oh, this is nice. I'm working for this shine. Look, shine! <laughs> I want it to be really shiny, y'all. Oh, but this is a nice pair. 
Do y'all like this? I think that's nice. This looks really nice together. Let me wipe off the um, liner from the lipstick. Oh yeah, this is nice. Take it all the way up. It gives you a whole nother color. So this is cute. And, or you can wear their liners, you know, you can wear your, their liners by themselves with like some gloss on top. I might do that in the final look. I don't know. Now I'm going to swatch the Lip Fetish Astro Lip Balm, balm for you guys. Like I said, these are not new. Just new to me. Oh, I didn't bother taking that off because it's not coming off. She's, yeah, that's, it didn't even, do you guys think it's a game? Look. Okay, mother. Oh, these are so pretty. I like these already. Look. I like shine. I like glitter. That's my vibe. I'm so late to the game on these, but guys, these are, I already love them. This one is Nude Astral. Look at that shift. I have a feeling I'm going to like these more because the glitter, it's the glitter. Look. Now these to me are more like a, I guess these will be like the lipsticks that the lip glosses that she has, the Opulus lip glosses. That will be these in a bullet form. That's what these remind me of. They also are not as shiny, but the glitter pays for that. Like, like it makes up for that. Y'all see what I mean? <laughs> I know y'all are like, you your glitter. But it's, it makes you happy. It's so pretty. Oh. Oh, it looks so good. I love this a lot. Nude Venus. No, was that Nude Venus? I'm so confused. Nude Astral. Okay, there is another shade that is new. It's from, it's still with the Astral um, Lip Balm Collection, but it's Amethyst Astral. Ooh, slip right on. Whoa, look at this shift. Can you see? Let me make sure you're getting that. Whoa. Look at that. She knows how to do these glitters. Oh, okay. And this is very subtle as well. You can put these on top of something. Like you put these on a purple lipstick. I'm going to build it up. Because I can Oh, it's so pretty. It's purple. I can already think of a look that I'm going to do with this and using the new Natasha Denona um, liquid uh, eyeshadows, the dual chromes or the multi chromes that she just came out with. It's a purple one that I already have been plotting what I'm going to do. But that's this shade. This is gorgeous. The next shade is the um, VR Pink. What is it called? VR Pink Astral. So this one is just another pinky shift one. They all kind of end up looking the same, but not really once it gets on your particular skin tone. There it is. 
And this one doesn't have as much glitter, I don't think. I don't think it's as glittery as the other ones. But it's very similar. <laughs> So, there's that. These lip balms are very nice and balmy. Mm-hmm. But I would, I would say pair it with a lip gloss. Get your gloss out life, sis. Don't be scared. Shine bright like a diamond. Why not? I would put a gloss on top of these to make them like really like glassy finish. But that's just me. And my fixation on glassy stuff. Y'all, my eyebrows are gone. They left the party. I'm, <sighs> I'm so done with these eyebrows. Anyway. The balm that I have is Rose Quartz. By Pat McGrath. This one is purpley. Right? So doesn't that look purple to you guys? And I know that these are not supposed to have a lot of cut or payoff. I do know that. But I was just wishing and hoping. This one you can see pretty good. Okay. And it definitely has that glitter in it. But this is not as glittery as the other ones. I just want to see how much it'll build up. Ooh, ooh, it looks... That's nice. You can definitely actually see the glitter if you build it up. Let me see if this... Is that... Can y'all see that? It does have a lot of glitter. But yeah. Not as much as the other one, I don't think. And definitely. It's smooth. I like these because, look, they're not creasing. I'm sorry to be all up in the camera, but they're not creasing. They do give you a shine. I'm going with Deep Void by Pat McGrath. I've been wanting to get a dark purple lip liner for a very long time. Ooh, whoa. Oh, this is very dark. Wow. I have Deep Void um, in her lipstick formula. So you guys are probably going to see that soon because... I am going into my dark phase, okay? I'm about to start breaking out all of my dark lippies. So get ready because I love a dark lip. There is very little things that I love. Actually, no, there's a lot of stuff that I love. But a dark lip is definitely up there. I love those dark lipsticks. Oh, this is perfect. I know I still have some more of it on, but. This one, it feels, it's like scratching my lip. Why is it doing that? And I just sharpened it.
Let me fill this in and I'll apply the lipstick when I come I'm going to go back in with Amethyst Astral, the new one, to see what that does. I just filled in the liner some more. <laughs> I'm just curious what it'll do. <gasps> Ooh. And this is going to stay for a long time because that lip liner is not going anywhere. Look at this combo, y'all. So this combo is Deep Void Lip Liner by Pet McGrath and Astral, Amethyst Astral, Amethyst Astral. Ooh, very, very pretty. Oh, and it's deep. Wow. So I'm going to go back in with Rose Quartz Astral. And again, this is Deep Void Lip Liner. So let's see what she does. Okay. I don't like this one as much as I like it with the um, amethyst, but it's cute. I just like this lip liner. It's really dark, really deep, deep purple. I'm hoping that you can see that on camera. It's a deep blackened purple. Deep void is very deep, very, very deep. Um, uh, you know, of course it's meant to be paired with, I think their, um, deep void lipstick, which would be perfect because that lipstick is kind of like, it's not, it's not a matte, although it is their trans matte formula. It's not a long wearing type of matte, but this lip liner is, so that would be a nice, uh, pairing with that lipstick. But anyway, this is what it looks like with this balm. Astral Quartz. Okay. Ooh, ooh, pick up the purple in my shirt. Okay. I'm okay. going to line my lips with Living Legend again. I feel like Deep Void is actually, it was kind of dry. I don't know if this is an old pencil or something because it's not from the new collection. So it could be that this pencil is old, but it's dry. It's definitely, it definitely does not feel like this. It's still very long lasting, long wearing and hard to get off, but it's not like this. So I think that this particular one is probably like a little messed up. They were on sale as well. So I don't know, but I, um, I can definitely tell the difference in this one. Hmm. Yeah, you can just wear these as lipsticks all day long because they don't go anywhere. I'm going to go in with Nude Astral again. And see what that does. Okay. <laughs> That's cute. All right. It didn't do much. But it's pretty. I just really like this lip liner too. The lip liners are a win for me. I'm going to go get okay. some more lip liners. So this is the last lip combo. I went in with Living Legend lip liner all on my liner. And then I added this one. Um, ooh, maybe I added too much. <laughs> oh no. I added Electric Lotus on top of that. 
Oh, that looks good. This will make them stay, definitely. Um, I love her liners. I'm putting this on because we're not wasting nothing. Oh, yeah. Oh, this feels really nice, too. This combo with the lip liners and with the vinyl lip. So that would be my, my recommendation. If you're going to get these, get them with the lip liner. The lip liner is, like, going to grip them and make them stay more, I think. And um, although they, they're they thick, they are thick balms, but they're just not as glossy as I would like them. But this looks good. This actually looks glossy enough. I don't know, y'all. I have a problem. I have a problem. But I definitely like how they feel. And like I said, I love these liners. I'm going to get some more liners. I want to get, if they have a red liner, I'm going to get that. Do you guys have um, a lot of Pet McGrath lip liners? This is only like my third my third time purchasing her lip liners. Or fourth, fourth time purchasing her lip liners because... I was like, oh, that's expensive for a lip liner. But these things are basically lipsticks. Her lip liners are lipsticks to me, which is really nice because, I mean, you can dive into oblivion with this thing on and it'll be the last thing standing. This, <laughs> These lip liners will be the last thing standing. So anyway, I like this look. I do. I do. Yeah, I think this one is my favorite from the Divinal um collection this one is my favorite and i like all of the astral lip balms because they have the glitter so i'm partial to glitter anyway thank you so much for watching thank you so much for the new subscribers i appreciate you guys um watching my videos and commenting and giving me positive feedback i have some more videos to go oh i just have so much stuff coming in like I order all this stuff because I'm like okay I'm not working let me go ahead and you know pop out all these videos and then I started working so that's why you haven't seen me as often as I would like I want to try to do three videos a week that's my goal <laughs> but anyway I'm glad I got this video done and I, I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you picked up some of these if you know, if you want it to. The collection is nice, but I'm really satisfied with my Divine Rose 2 palette. If you wanted to get anything, I would say that one is still the, that one is still number one for me, in my opinion. I do love the Decadence. I'm for the Decadence, but Divine Rose 2, that's bad. Okay, that was bad for me. Um, Divine, um, the Decadence, the Rose, the Decadence one, that's like, second bay so and the divinal lip lippies like i said before i like them they're nice but they're not as glossy as i would like them to be like you really have to layer them on to get this type of gloss finish which i don't mind but you know sometimes my arm hurts so there's that but anyway thank you so much for watching and swatching with me i do have my message Mm-hmm. Where are my glasses? One second. I hope you all are well. I hope that um, you are finding some type of peace and relief during this time. Um, shout out to all the essential workers who've been working since day one, since everything has started. And just shout out to everyone who is doing their part to remain safe and social distance and things like that. Um, let's keep doing that. <clears throat> oh. 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 Rona. Don't be like this lip liner and stick around. Get in the house. Bye, y'all.